Hi, this is Gleb Bakhmut. I want to show you an example of using Cypress course to find a downloaded file. We have Cypress example recipe and the recipe here is testing the download. So what I will do, I will install Cypress course. This is a dev dependency. It was published on NPM yesterday. Great, it's published and installed. And I'm going to open Cypress and start the server. So let's go to our test. Our current test doesn't know how long the file download will take and doesn't know the name of the file. So what we have to do after clicking on the download link, we'll have to wait for three seconds. We think three seconds is enough to download the file. And then I use site task find file, which is defined right here. We use globby, get the list of files matching the mask and if it's not, there, if it's empty, then we just return null from the task. Otherwise, we return the first file name. So I want to avoid this hard-coded wait. So let's see how it runs right now. It's called download spec. Wait three seconds. We can see that it downloaded the site to Cypress download logo. Let's use site. I'm going to import recurse from Cypress recurse npm package. I will copy the test we'll call it using cypress and we don't have to run this test we also will not need retries because we will not fail because we'll have a file download okay so we will use recurse and we need two arguments first one is a function that calls cypress commands to perform the task in this case it's this so this is a function that returns site task find file to the mask and then you know, we have a found result from the task so how do we check if we found the file well it's not a null and i think it's a good idea to confirm it's non empty so i say type of x and it's not empty so once this thing is done okay i'll convert it so this confirms this is not empty, it's not an empty string, and then we'll pass it to the next thing. Recurse yields whatever the command chain. So I'll save it. Let's look at this. So we run find run find the image. We see the output from Cypress Recurse. It finds the file, yields it, and we confirm the file size is what we expect it to be above you know, 1000 bytes. By the way, really quickly. If you're not sure how this function works, create a unit test. For example, call this function string, and I'm going to just put it right here, wherever we had before. Okay, right now it's the same thing, but now let's add a couple of unit tests. So I'll call it the name of function, and we can call it with different arguments. So expect of, let's say, null to be false. Notice this. It just ran an assertion, right? If you want to confirm that it's false for empty string, add that. And let's say logo png to be true. Perfect. So a quick unit test is very helpful to confirm that you're not writing code that does what you don't expect it to do.